All right, so we got Call of Duty Black Ops 6, the story so far. Let's get to the video, let's go. Oh my, that was so loud. Black Ops began in 1961 when CIA operatives Frank Woods, Alex Mason, and Jason Hudson yes, sir. set off on a decade-long journey through the darkest corners of the world. That journey culminated in 1968 when they stopped the plot to activate deadly sleeper agents embedded inside the United States. Yes, sir. 13 years later, at the height of the Cold War, Mason, Woods, and Hudson joined fellow operative Russell Adler. Together, they hunted down the Soviet spy Perseus, leader of a rogue organization intent on dismantling the West. In 1981, Adler's team prevented Perseus from detonating dozens of neutron bombs placed across Europe. Flash forward to 1986, Mason, Woods, and Hudson learned that South American cartel boss Raul Menendez had moles within the CIA. Hey, Menendez is a menace. They tracked the drug lord to Nicaragua, where Woods, after a fierce battle with Menendez, presumed him killed in action. Three years later, in 1989, a CIA operation in Panama ended tragically when Woods was tricked into shooting and killing his best friend, Alex Mason. Tough. Raul Menendez, back from the dead, captured Woods and revealed himself as the mastermind behind the Panama Of course. Plot. He then killed Hudson and shot Woods, leaving him maimed but alive so that Woods might suffer as Menendez had suffered. Hey, now, Menendez is truly a menace, bro. Every secret, every conspiracy has led them to the year 1991. In a time when the enemy has eyes everywhere, how do you know who to trust? Uh, we're not trusting him. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're certainly not trusting Adler. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. Pre-order the Vault Edition now. All right. So, obviously, this gave us like the whole like rundown from like Call of Duty Black Ops story to like you know Call of Duty Black Ops Six story, and I kind of like that. Now, if I'm being completely honest, right? A lot of people like to compare like Menendez to uh to Makarov. I've seen that a lot of times. They were like, oh, Menendez is way, he, he's way more of a menace, Makarov, etc. In my opinion, I think Makarov is, the, he, he's the best villain in Call of Duty history. Bro, we've seen that, man. Like, like Menendez, bro. Bro, listen. <laughs> man, he shot. <laughs> bro, Menendez, bro, like, he's so, like, Menendez is like a worm, bro. Like, it, like, like the thing is with him, you might think he's dead, bro. But then he comes back and then he shoots Woods. Then he uh then he would like, you know, make you kill like uh Mason or whatever, just like she's like and at the end of the day, right, he's a menace. I will understand that. Like he's he's very like he's very techy, he's very like just he's very smart. Makarov is truly he's brute strength men bro. Makarov, bro, he's he's smart as well, bro. But I think that there's no filter. There's no like and with Men and with Menendez, there's no filter as well with him. But bro, let's not act like we didn't see Makarov have him and like four Russian goons with yourself, which who was a who was an American. Let's not act like he didn't just take four of his little menaces to an elevator with machine guns, get off the elevator and shoot up an airport. Let's not act like we didn't see that. Let's not act like we didn't play as that. But then let's not act like at the end of the mission. He killed the traitor, which was us. Like, let's not act like he didn't know that. So, at the same time, bro, I feel like Makarov, bro, he's willing to do, like, the most evil, diabolical thing. And he still knows, like, like, you know, like, bro, he, like, it's crazy because, like, he knew that it was us the entire time. Like, he's telling us, oh, the American thought he can, like, he, he thought he can uh, lie to us or deceive us or whatever. The fact that he knew that, it, like, we were the traitor or whatever, bro. And, like, we helped them. Well, first of all, I didn't shoot nothing. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Say what you want. I didn't help shoot nobody, bro. And, it like, yes, cool. I shot, like, the police or whatever. But I did not shoot any of the, like, the, of the people in the airport. I was so starstruck as a kid whenever I seen that. I was like, yo, I've never seen this in a movie. I've never seen this in a TV show. I've never seen a couple of guys walk out of an elevator and, like, everybody up like it's the 4th of July. I've never seen that before. And I was a kid. Now, to be honest with you, that's not Call of Duty's fault. I mean, I was playing a mature game. Um, I was like, what, nine or ten years old? You know, uh, I'm not a victim or nothing. Like, I, I don't want like Call of Duty to get the name of, to get like the blame of like putting harsh things in her game. No, I was, bro. I was like, I was young. I wasn't technically. I was supposed to be playing that game, but bro, who cares, bro? I, I, listen, I'm good now. Let's listen. I'm good now. Okay, like, I'm, you know, mentally, I'm good. Whatever, I'm good. Okay, I'm like, you know, they didn't like, <laughs> like that scene in that game didn't mess me up or nothing. But 
just saying, bro, Makarov is like, he's truly a diabolical, like, school threat. He's truly like a diabolical code red menace to the earth. Uh, Menendez, bro, he's just a villain. He's just a super villain. Makarov, bro, he's a cold black, like, bro, did you see, listen. Whenever, what's her name? Uh, uh, the blonde girl in Modern Warfare, she, she usually tells, like, Captain Price and them, like, you know, like, where the mission is and stuff like that. Oh, Laswell. Whenever Laswell was like, yo, turn around, like, bro. Captain Price, gas, everybody was on the, uh, going like the little mission or whatever. Last one say, yo, 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 turn the car back around, bro. Makarov is on the loose. Bro, that man Price said, he said, he said, I said, what? He said, he said, hold up. He said, hold up. I said, what? Who? Who's on the loose? She so said, Makarov. He said, oh, yeah, turn this thing around, bro. The other goons, listen, listen. The other people, uh, the, like, the, all, all the other bums can handle this. Makarov's on the loose, bro. The real school menace, the real school threat. The real school sniper, bro. Bro, the real, the, bro, the real code black to, to the earth is on the minutes. Bro, 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 bro. He, bro, he might mess around and start a war. Oh, yeah, bro. Let's lock him down immediately, bro. Immediately. Let's lock him down ASAP. Like, bro, he's really like the, bro. Makarov was up here. Menendez, he's like right here. Makarov, bro, he's on a total, bro. I know I'm glazing Makarov right now, bro. But he's on the, on the entire, like, different level. And that's just me. That's all I got to say right there, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this whole Black Ops 6 story right here? Um, I feel like, I don't know. I, I kind of want something really controversial to happen in a story mode. Now, I know I sound like a, I, I know I sound like a, like a bit of a menace right now for saying that. But I would really love, like, for something, like, really, like, bad and, like, really, like, like big to happen in the story mode. Maybe that's just me, um, but I feel like Black Ops Six needs that. I mean, they don't need that, but like, in order for like this Call of Duty to really stand out, bro, bro, Call of Duty Black Ops Six, their campaign, bro, something really, really, really bad gotta happen, bro. That's what I think. But comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Call of Duty Black Ops Six? If you guys are gonna get the game, if you guys are just gonna play the multiplayer campaign, uh, zombies, whatever, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Come out.